Because when you love someone, you're going to suffer. That's the price of loving someone. Is that when you're not, is that you're living in fear that they're not going to be there. And this is what happens with anything that you value, right? I'm always afraid that my channel's going to close. You know, I'm always afraid that my mom's going to die, that my dad's going to die, that my sister's going to die, right? And the level of love that I feel for them in that moment will de be dependent about how close are they to their death, right? And this reminder can either happen through life or through me consciously thinking about the inevitable, right? And, and we tend to repress that thought from their minds by consistently validating them by always being there. And I was people like, well, you know, I don't like your manipulation strategies. It's kind of, no, it's not about manipulation strategies. It's about you learning how to be by yourself. Learning how to de how to make this, how to make absence or giving them space in your own spiritual practice because it goes against every fiber of your being to be to give them more space than necessary, right? And and you start thinking and start finding pleasure and in inflicting a, a an appropriate. And, 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 and positive amount of pain, meaning you live in your life, you going on vacation with your friends and not inviting your partner because it's, it's, it's it, you know, like, for example, like I have trips with my friends and it's only guys and my, my friend tells his girlfriend, don't, don't come, right? And she gets mad, but she doesn't come. And, and when, when she comes back, when he comes back, she loves him more. Stop having this overly dependent relationship with, with your partners. It's not healthy. You have to give them space. And if they don't, and if they cannot handle the space, if 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 they start acting manipulative or try to guilt you, then that shows you that's a red flag on their part, not your part. If they cannot handle your absence, that tells you that they're controlling. It's a, it's, it's a way to test their character. How do they deal with insecurity? Do they get aggressive? Or do they find a way to self-soothe? Or do they use you as a way to self-soothe? Do they blame you for it? Do they start telling you to change your behavior so that they can feel comfortable? That's a red flag. And they, they do that, pull away even more. This is, again, we just don't do this when we like someone. It's not because we're thinking of them, but because we're being selfish. We, we, we're, we're only thinking about ourselves. If you were tailoring, for example, Houdini, Houdini's acts, a lot of the times, they, he could have done his, most of his tricks in under a minute. Uh, if you watch Houdini, a lot of his acts are just him faking struggling, creating anxiety in the, in the audience, making them think, what's about to happen? Am I really gonna, about to see somebody die? And then right at the moment, he would, unle he would, he would, uh, he would like unlock the keys and stuff like that. But he understood human nature. He understood that he gotta he, that you gotta make them doubt a little bit. You're more beautiful when they doubt how you feel. You're more you're more attractive to them when they feel like when they have that sense of reality that maybe this is the last time I see you or 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 why are they all of a sudden so busy? What's going on? And it, are they really busy? Do the, the, does Tyrone really give them a discount? Right? All of those things are things that anyone who ever fell in love think. And if they're really being honest about themselves, being proven wrong with your presence makes the experience worth the pain. Life is about feeling multiple feelings. And I know this hurts. I know you're making them suffer a little bit. But if they were really honest, they'll realize that the pain was worth the reward. Because seeing you and looking at you almost as though you're larger than life because you've been existing in their minds and they were not and they were doubtful whether or not you were actually gonna be there now makes the experience so much more pleasurable. And just make sure you don't do this too much. You know, like this would if you do this too much, this can create resentment, especially if you're obvious. But sprinkle it in a little bit, man. We gotta stop think we gotta stop being selfish. No, I don't feel right. It feels it feels mean. You're being selfish, you're not thinking of themselves. You're not thinking of them. Of course, it feels a little, a little mean. Yeah, I know you're inflicting pain, but it's like this. It's like the the, the freaking um, 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 Melissa, the mom who doesn't want to freaking um, um, punish her kid because she feels bad. Fuck that kid. He's misbehaving. You know, <laughs> like it's a lot of times we're just being selfish because we don't want to deal with the pain of doing what you have to do. All right. Anyways, I just finished recording one of my courses videos about creativity. 
I'm really excited. Um, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, man. I'm encouraging you to give them space, man. It kills them inside. But it makes you. It, it makes it makes the relationship feel more alive. Anytime you feel like things are are a little cold between the two, create some distance. Create a little doubt. You know, be a little bit more busy. You know, it, 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 go on the trip with with your friends and not invite them. It it this is not a toxic strategy. This is anyone who's healthy needs their own space, and if they cannot recognize it, it shows you some toxicity. But then. One of the things about them is that people forgive you. You can hurt them, but they'll forgive you. And this type of pain is, not, is totally fine. You're just, you're not gaslighting them. You're not doing anything. You're just having your own personal space, man. If they can't handle that, that's a red flag. But if they can, ha if they, if, if they're, if they're able to handle that, one, they suffered for you, right? And two, it shows you that even though it hurts, they're learning how to self-soothe, you know? Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. All right, people, if you guys enjoy that type of content, if you guys want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, and you guys have some situations you guys want me to answer, um, maybe somebody's playing you, maybe somebody doesn't like you, maybe you want to make somebody like you, maybe you want to tell me your situation and, and see what I think, you guys can click on the description down below and purchase a one-on-one -on -one phone coaching call with me that is completely um, confidential and nobody knows about it. And they are be able to give you my personal opinion about your situation. And at the end of the day, when you work with me, you're gonna get answers, all right? The point is, is that you're not gonna waste your time. Um, if you guys wanna do that, click on the description down below. That's the, that's, those are the one-on-one -on -one private confidential phone calls. And if you guys wanna be able to, for me to answer your questions, like you see in my videos where I answer questions, you guys can book an email coaching session, which is more affordable, and you guys can change things around and nobody will know it's you, and there you'll be able to get a one-on-one -on -one um, type of coaching, um, and I'll be able to post it on YouTube, and the beauty about it is that nobody finds out because you could just change your name, people. You say you're in China, I'm gonna say you're in Australia. Nobody's gonna find out, people. Now, I wanna make it clear. The private one-on-one -on -one phone call are private, confidential. The email coaching calls, as you guys can see, are things that I post on YouTube. They're more affordable, and they let me post a video on it. As long as you change things around, nobody will know it's you. So don't be shy, man. I love working with people, and, uh, and at the end of the day, it's my passion to help people. You guys have no idea how happy this makes me to be able to help you guys at an, at an individual basis. And at the end of the day, you're gonna get my honest advice. A lot of people bullshit you just to bring you back as a customer. If you guys are looking for that honest advice, this is the guy for you, okay? Okay, see you guys.